morning uh, as we're gathering on this February 1st. Uh, nice to have you here. Um, try them with the phone. Uh, a different method. Hopefully it, it's working better. Frida, Frida said it worked pretty good last week. So grateful for that. Well, good to be with you. Let's see if we get a few people jumping on on the 1st of February. One month down already uh, in 2022. It goes by quick, doesn't it? Um, congrats to Lou if she's jumping on. I think she has a contract on her house. I'm sure she's happy about that. Joe, how you doing, Joe? Good to be with you this morning. Got a few folks jumping on. Morning, Tom. Morning, Michelle. Morning, Sue. See who else we get going here this morning. Uh, good morning, Deb. I saw Deb already this morning in the office. That was nice. Um, hope you had a nice uh, weekend, a good Monday. Um, getting ready for the snow. Who you think we're going to hit the end of the world here uh, with the way they've got everybody worked up? Uh, I usually say cut it in half. So if it's a six inches, you may get three. Uh, kind of the way it seems to, to go around these days. All right. Uh, looking like we got our crew on for this morning. Uh, don't see Lou. Uh, maybe she's she's out doing her house thing. I don't know. Um, but good to be with you guys this morning. Uh, some good news, good words today as we turn to uh, uh, Matthew chapter 11 and 12. Um, and it's, it's this idea... <laughs> of finding rest and maybe you've uh are looking for that in your life these days uh things are you know, got you a little uh weary and burdened uh feel like you're carrying a heavy load today uh tired out um uh, well today we get an invitation uh from jesus to come to him uh to actually root our lives in him uh kind of really anchor ourselves uh to him now the uh you know really you know this idea of, of foundational rooting grinding down into this idea of rooting our our our, our lives in, in him in his truth his love his his peace um in fact that's what the verses today talk about it's kind of interesting uh, that we're called to root down uh, really grab a hold of uh, the God's truths, and we need to hear that. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm getting weary. I'm getting burdened. Um, these are these have been long days, hard days. Uh, I think everybody's feeling it uh, in different ways, uh, but we're kind of all kind of all in that same boat. And um, you know, to hear these words again of Jesus is important. This, this idea to root in Him. Uh, the first verse for today comes from 2 Kings 19.30, and it says, The surviving remnants of the house of Judah shall take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. Uh, let me read that again. The surviving remnants of the house of Judah shall again take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. Where are you planted? Where are you planted is, is what uh, the writer of Kings is saying to us. Uh, you know, root downward, root into the truth so that you can bear fruit upwards. And that's what uh, Paul says in Romans eleven sixteen. If the root is holy, then the branches are also holy. If the root is holy, then the branches are also holy. And so it's this idea of coming to Jesus, rooting into his truth, his love, his peace, uh, he is the one that gives us true rest. And that's really what, what Jesus is saying here uh, today, is, is the one who represents the Father, uh, as the one who reveals to us the heart of our Father. We see again that Jesus is the one who gives us rest. Uh, and, and really that goes back to day seven of creation. Uh, on that day God rested. It wasn't that he like took a nap or chilled out in front of Netflix. It's that he focused in on what he had done. And then the commandment really follows after that. Uh, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Uh, it's, it's not just a day to kick it back and, 
take it easy you know it's a day to join together to the one who brings this ultimate rest to root ourselves in him so that we can make it through the day make it through the week um, as we face these burdens and be people who are actually bearing fruit actually doing something different making a difference uh, in the world uh, we live in uh, today and so uh, as we turn to to Matthew 11 uh, chapter 11 verse 25 through 2 8 we see again how Jesus reveals to us the heart of God uh, Jesus uh, calls us to come to him and find repentance or find rest so that we can bear fruit because here's the deal is we are called to go, grow where we're planted uh, and to bear fruit even when it isn't easy even when we are being challenged but in order to do that I find this interesting we need to rest we need to find our rest in in Jesus uh, I just read some article, I think it was this, this weekend, about experts are figuring out that it's not good for you to exercise seven days a week. Um, in fact, that they say you probably need two days a week to rest. Uh, rest your body so that your body can recover and restore and grow stronger. Um, and so we are called to find our rest in, in Jesus. Uh, and he calls us to, to experience that uh, in our day-to-day -day life. When we're bit weary and burdened and we're feeling it, he calls us to come to him. So let me read for you from uh, Matthew 11, starting at verse 25. Matthew 11, 25. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from, wise and, from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your good pleasure. All things have com been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, Haven't you read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God, and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which was not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests in the temple desecrate the Sabbath, desecrate the day, and yet are innocent? I tell you, one greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would have not condemned the innocent. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. You see, everything pointed to Jesus. He is the one who gives us rest. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees missed that. That's what Jesus is talking about. He's like at the beginning of this section that that, that those who are hard-hearted have missed what, what God uh, wants, the good that God wants for his his people. Uh, they have they have turned their their backs on on him. Uh, and yet Jesus has come. Uh, Jesus has come to give uh, us rest for our souls and our rest is is, is found in him uh, for he he not only uh, desires mercy but he became the sacrifice um, he's the one who who gave his life that we could have life um, he's the one who carried the load and as we root our ourselves in him today in his truth in his love and his peace, that's when we can truly find rest. Uh, rest 
rest in Jesus. And when we're rested, then we can produce. Uh, there's a cycle, right? There's a cycle. Uh, and, and maybe this is a time to, to draw in close, to root ourselves in Jesus so that we can go out and, and bear, uh, bear fruit. Uh, but the day is coming. That's what, uh, that's what we heard in 1 Kings. The, society, the surviving remnant of the house of Judah shall take root downward and bear fruit upward. As we root in Jesus, we can find our rest in him. And hopefully you can find that rest today. Uh, find it in him amidst the weariness and the burdens that you're carrying, be it health, be it grief, be it family, be it work, be it whatever. Uh, you can find that rest today in in Jesus um, because we all <laughs> all need that uh, today for sure um, so root in him root and rest in him so that you can produce uh, real real fruit um, in our prayers uh, continue to pray for the sick we'll pray for a preschool uh, one of the teachers is uh, tested positive for COVID thankfully is asymptomatic so we're grateful for that uh, just ask uh, that the Lord would bless us here at Bethel uh, as we seek to carry out his work. Um, certainly um, challenging days, um, but we, we hold on to that promise that uh, the surviving remnant uh, will continue on. This is God's church, and so we're grateful uh, that he's in control and that he's good. Um, and we pray, uh, you know, just pray God's hand of favor and peace on us uh, in these in these days and really kind of a shift in like that God would use even this really bad difficult time for for good for our good and for the good of others for his good his glory um, and that we uh, that we uh, we take it one step at a time one day at a time uh, trusting in Jesus so let me pray father we pray that as we take root in knowing you as our protector and sovereign Lord, we may seek to live the life you have chosen for us to live. Lord, we thank you again uh, for this day that you've given to us. Uh, we, we trust in you. And we root ourselves in you today as the one who gives us real rest. Rest in our souls, knowing that we are made right with you. Our sins are forgiven um, and that we have peace with you. And we can trust you in all circumstances, uh, Lord, because you have promised good for us. You are our covenant partner, and you will not renege on your promises made to us, your covenant people, in the waters of holy baptism, uh, where you marked us as your own. And help us to live out of that today, root into that uh, today, those truths, those promises uh, today, Lord, so that we can be people who are bearing fruit. Give us wisdom in these days ahead, Lord, uh, as we seek to uh, really have an impact on the culture that is, is shifting, is changing. Um, help us, Lord, um, help us, Lord, to be wise. Uh, help us to be um, humble. <laughs> help us to be courageous. Help us, Lord, to recognize the value of relationship, that you have called us into relationship. And that uh, that relationship is important both in, in our day-to-day -day life and then here at church. Uh, we need to root in you so that we can bear fruit um, in, in the relationships that, that we have in our lives, in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, today we pray for the sick, those who are struggling. We, we ask, Lord, that in this time of pandemic, you would use it for good. Um, we know that you work all things for good uh, and that we would grow in this time uh, and that we would be strengthened in our uh, rootingness in you, uh, and that it would grow deeper and deeper. And that as the storms and difficulties come, uh, Lord, we would be truly rooted in you. Um, we pray for our early learning center and to protect the teachers and the, the families and the children there. We pray for our church, Lord, in these days. We pray for those who are sick. Pray that Joe is feeling better uh, and doing better today, that his migraine would be gone. Uh, we pray for others who are dealing with sickness and cancers and, and in their own bodies and the family members they know. Uh, 
we just ask, Lord, uh, continued healing. Uh, be with Tom Glenn. Watch over him. Uh, restore him. Um, pray for pray for others, Lord, as well today. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, good to be with you guys this morning. Uh, hope you guys could hear me and everything came across clearly and all that fun stuff. Uh, but look forward to seeing you on uh, Thursday morning. So have a have a great day today um, and enjoy the warm and before the, the snow comes. All right, talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.